Welcome to Electro Online. Now here's a really interesting problem from the JEE main exams dealing with moment of inertia. So let's read it and let's formulate a solution. A uniform thin bar of mass 6 kilograms and length 2.4 meters is bent to make an equilateral hexagon. The moment of inertia about an axis passing through the center of mass and perpendicular to the plane of the hexagon is we're looking for an integer number of kilogram meters squared. Wow, where do we begin? Well, we probably want to begin by drawing a hexagon. So let's do that. There we go. And the center mass. Now this is hollow, there's nothing there. This is made up of a bar, so it's a linear shape. And the bar is 6 kilograms and 2.4 meters long, and it's it's that would be the entire bar bent into this shape. So essentially, we bent it into this shape. And so that means that the length of each side, so this distance right here, this length would be equal to 2.4 meters divided by 6, which is equal to 0.4 meters. So the length of each bar is 0.4 meters. And the mass of each side, or each part of the bar, I should say, so for each side of the hexagon, the mass for one side of the hexagon and the length for one side of the hexagon, let's denote it like that, would be equal to six kilograms. Whoa, that's a terrible looking kilogram. Let me try that again. Just sometimes I'm trying to be too quick and it doesn't look very good. So kilograms divided by six, because there's six sides, that would be equal to one kilogram. So the mass of each side of hexagon is one kilogram. The length of each side of the hexagon is 0.4 meters. But now the big question is, how do we solve this? Because notice, we're trying to find the moment of inertia, something that's rotating like this. And that seems like a very difficult problem until we remember this. The parallel axis theorem, which says that the moment of inertia is equal to the moment of inertia about the center mass plus the MD squared, where it's been displaced at distance d away from the center mass. So in other words, let's take a look at this side right here. If we take this bar and place it right here, then we can say that the moment of inertia about the center mass of the bar swinging around is going to be equal to, since it's rotating about its center, not its end, that would be equal to 1 12th ml squared, l being the length of the bar. So that would go in here. Now we've displaced it a distance d like this. And of course, I should be, I should have drawn a little bit better here. Let me get it over here. I'll put the center mass over there, right there. And so this is a distance d, so it's right in the center. Now, how do we calculate that distance d? Because that's what we need over here. The mass is still the same mass. But the distance d can be calculated by turning this into a triangle. So let's do that. So since it's a hexagon, we can see that if we divide it like this, we'd have six equal triangles. That means that the angle in here, this angle here is 60 degrees. That means the angle of half a triangle would be equal to 30 degrees. Which means that this here, this distance from there to there, from there to there, would be the same as this length right here. How do we know that? Hmm. Because these are equilateral triangles. They all have the same side because there's six of them. And so since you have six of them, then these must be equal in size, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. They're equilateral triangles. That means that this is length L and we can calculate D as being equal to L, the hypotenuse of the triangle times the cosine of 30 degrees. And of course, in this case, that's L times the cosine of 30 degrees, which is the square root of three over two. So that's the distance D. Since L is 0.4, so D can then be written as 0.4 times the square root of 3 divided by 2, or D can be written as 0.2 times the square root of 3. So now we have a value for D, we have a value for M, we know the center mass of a bar rotating about its center, and now we can simply calculate all these values. So I equals I center mass plus MD squared, which is the parallel axis theorem, you definitely need to remember that, it comes up a lot in these tests. That would be 1 12th, the mass of a bar, which is 1, 
times L squared, and L is 0 0.4 squared, plus the mass of the bar, which is 1, times D squared, which is 0 0.2 times the square root of 3 quantity squared. So now we just have to simplify that. So this is equal to, that is 1 12th times 0 0.4 squared at 0 0.16 plus here we have 0.2 squared which is 0 0.04 times the square root of 3 squared which simply times 3. So this is equal to 0 0.16 divided by 12 plus 0.4 times that would be 0 0.12. So now what we did was we found the moment of inertia of just one of the sections of the hexagon. There's six of these sections, so to find the total moment of inertia, we have to multiply the whole thing by six. So this is just for one of them. So when we want six of them, we're going to multiply this whole thing by six. So 0 0.16 divided by 12 plus 0 0.12, like this. So 6 divided by 12, that's 1 half. 1 half times 0.16 is equal to 0 0.08 plus 6 times 0.12, that would be 0 0.72. So this is equal to 0 0.8, and that would be kilograms meters squared. So notice I was looking for an integer. Normally the answer is always integers, but in this case, it's 0 0.8. 0 0.8 kilogram meter squared as a total moment of inertia. I guess they didn't tell us that it was going to be an integer, so that should be the right answer. And that is how it's done. Remember again, this is a really important equation. The parallel axis theorem, it will solve a lot of these problems that we'll throw at you, and if you don't use this theorem, if you try to calculate it brute force, it's going to be a lot more difficult to try to do that. But that is the way to do it.